What is happening, guys? Call of Duty Blackouts Kid here playing Call of Duty Mobile. Yes, that's right. I said it. Call of Duty Mobile. And I didn't think it would actually be any good. It's made by Tencent. It's kind of uh, difficult to control at first. Once you get the hang of it, it's actually quite enjoyable. Uh, honestly, I was actually had very low expectations for the game. And uh, <laughs> it's amazing, honestly. I've been playing it for at least uh, eight 10 12 hours now probably and uh there's a lot of good things about this game and it takes various assets from all the call of duties it takes some from call of duty black ops 2 um take some from i would say modern warfare series you know an ambition from ghost and and uh there is uh simon ghost inside the game although it's not apparent so there is quick scoping in the game so before you haters go out there uh the kill streaks in this game are actually pretty decent too but so far controlling is is actually very difficult at first and uh once you get the hang of it though it's it's pretty damn good i actually really really enjoy it and and it's really good. Uh, the first game you get thrown into is Nuketown. At least that's what mine was. And uh, everyone felt like bots. And I was a bot, too, because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Uh, first game jumps you right into it. It's a TDM or what they call... Um, I forget what the heck the co mode's called. Like, headquarters, essentially. Where you always spawn at the same side. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I didn't realize that you could uh, aim and shoot with the one button. And so I was actually aiming and shooting at the same time so um the controls get to take uh, get a use to take into uh, because after this uh, i start getting the hang of it and it's actually not bad at all it's really really fun and uh there's some there's some mats from cod 4 um that actually make a return the game is really fun actually uh, you can play team chat although most of the games that i played were pretty broken and uh the one thing that i want to say is there's a big emphasis on like the fortnite battle pass i feel like every game like this now is just fortnite battle pass uh, ambition ish um Although, what can you say? There's a lot of skins. There's also the MSMC. A lot of, like, guns that are just kind of weird, like the M4 LMG, like Chicom from the Black Ops 2. Uh, there's, like, a Model 1887 from Modern Warfare 2. And they all have camos on certain guns that you can do just by playing the game. Um, there is the rotating shotgun, Striker, AK-74U. There's just a lot of nostalgic guns in here that from all over Call of Duty duty some completely new to the series and some that are familiar like the pdw 57 AK, they have three different ak's in this game which is quite weird to be honest with me there's a lot of guns and uh they all pr hit pretty hard they're all pretty average i would say nothing that stands really above the rest um Sniping in the game is very interesting. I've quick scoped. Uh, you can have private lobbies. You can quick scope if you dare want to do that. Um, and I got there's actually a video on my channel. The full video is 27 and 0 with only snipers on crossfire. So I'll leave that video down in the description. Uh, I get a couple different collaterals. So I did a couple highlights here um, really quickly. And the multiplayer is pretty good. There's TDM domination. Uh, there's actually AI controlled ones. So if you're trying to get used to the game, uh, although mainly a lot of the players are just bots, I feel like because they're just not all that good. Um, but that was just my personal uh, experience. There's a collateral. I get like three collaterals on this map actually. Um but the game's fun so far in multiplayer. There hasn't been anything that's really stuck out great wise. You only have two classes until you're like level 30. So either you have a sniper class and an assault rifle class. It's really kind of difficult on that front. So that's the only thing I would say that really kind of sucks is that you don't get a whole lot of customization at first. You have to play a little bit. There are some loot boxes and stuff, but actually they give you some loot boxes just for watching ads, which is kind of nice. Giving you a new emphasis rather than paying money for certain type of uh, things so that's one thing that i thought was nice there are just loot boxes through normal progression so there's nothing that's hidden behind paywalls although there is a lot of paywalls in the game um 
yeah, that was it. Uh, I want to say this was actually a good part. Uh, multiplayer, I'd probably give like a 8.5 out of 10. The new thing, there's also two, three modes, but there's one that's locked currently. It's a little early. There's Battle Royale in Call of Duty. There's also third person and first person mode. So it feels like they kind of just ripped it out of uh, PUBG Mobile since it's Tencent. There's respawns. It kind of reminds me of Apex Legends. Uh, there's third and first person. Of course, I wanted to go first person because third person's a little interesting. There's also um, a Cerberus dog. So there's zombies in here. And there's a lot of foreign action when it comes down to voice at, voices in the chat, which is the battle rail, weirdly enough, worked out well for me for voice chat. But multiplayer, not so much. Um, you can choose classes, scout, clown, medic. There's a lot of win good ones. The ninja one I've really liked the most. I haven't really tested out the scout or airborne or any of that stuff. That's something I'm going to be looking into very shortly. So uh, continue watching the channel for maybe more PUBG Mobile stuff. Um, and it's honestly interesting. The game really runs well on my Note 9. Uh, I, can crank, I can crank up the uh, graphics to Ultra, and you can uncap the frame rate as well. Right here, I thought was really interesting. It actually looks really, really good right there. Um, and then when you, you can go in and do all that kind of stuff. I'm excited to see the next mode is Zombies, which is kind of interesting uh, to be in a Call of Duty uh, mobile game for free, <laughs> which is interesting interesting um i'm excited to see how that plays out whether or not it's going to be total garbage or if it's actually really good i haven't really pl explored the map as it's actually quite huge um there's the zombie diner um there's a couple familiar other places like they have nuketown and all that kind of stuff so i'm ex i'm kind of i was kind of shocked to see this by the way um i did drop diner and there was zombies here i don't know if there's boxes i think there is but i didn't stay long enough to to do that i was trying to find a gun um and there are there i feel i don't know if there's bots in the there was a box right there i just saw it <laughs> and knifing the zombies are not as easy as it sounds trust me um especially this is when i was new i think this is my second match is when i jumped into battle rail so oh geez yeah see there's a guy right here and he just runs right out when i shoot him i almost shot him actually so he runs out and zombies drop quite a bit of loot, um, which is nice. Uh, there's not really anything super crazy that stands out about um, their blackout mode or their battle royale mode. It is really fun. Um, everyone that I've faced against so far has been bots, except for this one game when I went to go kill the Cerberus dog. Um, and it didn't work out so well. Also, I, I didn't actually knock that guy, the zombie didn't, and they actually have kill counters, so. Um, the, the ninja that I've used, I like the grapple feature to get you faster, but at the same time, for me, it didn't really work that well, because there's no vaulting in the game, as far as I'm aware. So trying to get on top of things uh, didn't really work out that well for me anyways. Um, I did do a couple good vaults, not on like enemy players or anything, but um, see this bot just stands there, runs away. 45 Snooty Master. So they sound like real names. I wouldn't see that they're, uh, they're fake, as far as I, I can tell anyways. Um... I don't know why, but my um, my sniper ammo just slowly dis, uh, goes lower for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why, because it starts out at 20 right here, and then after I loot this guy, it goes down to zero. So I'm not exactly sure how the looting works, or maybe you can only hurt so certain amounts of certain guns maybe i'm not really sure i haven't really messed around with the technicals of it but i thought it was just very interesting on how the, all this stuff worked because when i looted that i lost all of my stuff <laughs> although i have plenty of space in my bag so i'm not really sure how that works um but yeah, the, the map is very good. It actually runs really smooth. Even on like a Samsung 5, my friend uh, was running the Samsung 5. And uh, yeah, it ran pretty well. Actually, it was my girlfriend's uh, brother. But um, he was running it on the Samsung 5, and it was actually running really well. So it feels like every other game, uh, you know, every other 
every phone can pretty much run this if a five can run it i'm running on the note 9 which is a more newer samsung phone um so that's pretty good i wonder how the uh the apple phones are run on it i'm sure pretty good uh as they have they're starting to get more powerful just like the samsung's so i almost run off the edge here here's a good grapple that i do too by the way and uh we do win my first game because this like i said this it was my first game of black uh the battle royale mode i keep wanting to call it blackout but it's not um i like the idea i'd like to see this uh, come to another battle royale type game because it's actually really interesting to see specialists in in a in a call of duty game uh as well as uh just the sheer amount of like new content is very interesting i like how they can day one get a battle pass and have a brand new map whereas um like blackout only has two maps and they continuously keep messing up their loot box progression system um which is weird i think that was the clown the clown class can actually spawn zombies which is very interesting but it could have been the guy that tries to mark me here in a second um also i'm not really sure how vesting works either because i try to pick up a level three vest towards the end of the game and it wouldn't let me pick it up so and I marked that kid. The AK-74U is amazing. Also, there is revives. If you die, your teammates have to quickly pick up your uh, your dog tags and you just spawn as far as I'm aware. I'm not exactly sure how this works. Um, but I think this is the last guy right here. Because, yes, it is. I just let him run because I didn't care. I think my teammates are just knifing too. Oh, he, he shot. <laughs> But yeah, that was uh, Battle Royale. That was Call of Duty Mobile. It's actually pretty good. I, overall, I give it probably an 8.5, maybe 9 out of 10, as there's a lot of good replay value and a lot of good things going well for the game. There is some problems with, you know, overall, like, like battle pass stuff and there's a lot of things you know with a paywall but i don't think it's very adamant so far nothing that really makes the player want to download all these type of things but it's a fun game i recommend anyone to go download it it's actually pretty fun i actually enjoyed myself quite a bit with call of duty mobile if you guys want to see more kind of reviews and or gameplay of call of duty mobile or anything in general please leave leave a like and subscribe as i do more content just like this every single Single week with great content coming very soon thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out